betel nut. Yeah, I think betel nut. Well, I've come to uh, Tepnamitra. I am. This is my fourth time here, and I have actually made it um, 50 meters further than I've ever made it before because. Um, that car park down there where the motorbike is uh, and the car. I've made it there three times before and I've come here and I've seen this building and it's all locked up and there's nobody around and I thought no, there's nothing here. Well uh, I was watching a friend of mine's uh, video channel and uh, let me introduce you to my friend here. This is Hi, Stefan. Uh, Stefan has a video channel of his own. Uh, Stefan uh, touring around uh, the globe and it, it, it predominantly it's in German but uh, he does some marvellous videos around this area, Lampun. But what's more is Intanon, lots of places that people can visit around uh, uh, south of Chiang Mai. And he even comes up to Chiang Mai, which is sort of like an hour away that way, and does extensive videos over there as well. He does great um, uh, interviews with people. And uh, if I can leave a link above, uh, I will show you uh, his YouTube channel and perhaps you can um, follow along if you don't speak. Uh, German in the subtitles but what's more is you can probably enjoy some of the sights that he gives you as well he likes drone footage but anyway I, I, I diverse this car park here these buildings here I've been here but I've never been where we're going to go today which is somewhere up here oh. 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 Oh, Hoxip. Wow. <laughs> Hoxip song. Hoxip song. <gasps> wow. Next week, Hoxip song. The lady they are worshiping down there, Mother Earth. Yes. You know this. No, but I but I heard but I I, I heard you explain it to somebody in German, yeah. and I followed it through, and I thought, mm, I want this in English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying. Because everywhere I go, as yeah. I mean, over in John Tong, there's yes. a beautiful statue at the yes. uh, uh, not not the garden on the on the side of the hill, but when you go to Mer Ta Waterfall, yes. that garden out there, yes, that th there's a beautiful one of her there. She's on every what you will find. Yes, because she is uh, she had Buddha to get enlightenment. Okay, uh, you know there's the Buddha for each day. On I think it's Thursday Buddha. You okay. see one hand on his left leg yes. and one hand R raised raised and defending himself yes and this is connected to this story because he was sitting there under the bodhi tree ready to get enlightened and the devils came the demons came don't want him to get enlightened so what did they try they sent a beautiful very dressed ladies around him, you know, yes. surrounding him, trying to get away his concentration. And what he did, he prayed to Mother Earth. He said, well, all the good things I have, I have done, I have thought, I have, you know, all my, my tambun, please use it to help me. Yes. And she used her hair to, I don't know, in English, she, she wrung it. Okay. Yeah. And all his good tambun came out of his, of her hair like water and washed all the demons away. Oh wow. So she she is you will find her somehow in any but. Yes, in, indeed. And it's the connection between Buddhism and and uh, people praying to natural gods. You know, this is Connection. And and you refer to her as the, the the Earth story, but is she the? Do you refer to her as the goddess of Earth? Do you refer to her as something? No, I she, 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 she is Mother Earth. Mother That's Earth. Mother Earth. Yeah. Okay. And the Shiva stone in the middle. <gasps> this wall goes all the way down, so you do have light down there. Oh wow, we're going down there, and we climb down there. Oh, that's very civilized. This <laughs> stairs here. <laughs> wow. What a beautiful, tranquil place this is. Oh, how lovely this is. Well, we descend down these metal stairs. 
Yes, you can smell the bats already. Oh, this is nice. Oh, there's a nice welcome mat at the bottom. And having come down this first set of stairs, we're onto a little patio area with a lovely bit of light over here shining down. Oh my goodness me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. It's just incredible. Absolutely beautiful. And you come down those stairs, you can't see anything. You no. Turn around the corner and you're looking at the geology, you're looking at the light, you're looking at the, at the shapes in front of you, and then all of a sudden this opens up in... Oh, wow! How incredible! How many will you like? Three? Three, it's a oh. board. Okay. <laughs> Should have taken my shoes off. This place just goes on, on, on. This is wonderful. Oh, there's another opening up top. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. And then you look back over here and you see the different colors that are... Oh, look at those statues going up. How magnificent. It's breathtaking, really. Well, I am so happy to have come through here and I'm grateful for Stefan for showing me because this is the most beautiful laid out cave I have been to. I mean, I've been to some lovely caves, but this is really stupendous. This isn't abuse, this is uh, geology in its, all its miracle ways. Scratchings and movements of different materials that have eroded at different times. Some of the content of the, of the molten uh, rock that formed this has eroded faster slower and therefore giving different levels and giving it this texture this as if it's been scratched texture as if it's been gouged out by humans but far from it this is natural this is just as the as the rock is and then you get the colors across it as well it's beautiful Wow. Special place. Stefan was telling me uh, that this place is now owned 
by a, a Chinese family and maintained by a Chinese family. And apparently in this building here is a bit of a uh, pity pan, uh, a museum. Uh, so um, maybe one day in the future, hopefully the doors will open and we'll be able to see what's inside. But um, at the moment it's more decorative, I think, because it's got elephant heads on the outside and some Chinese symbology on the outside as well. Well, we've now driven uh, about half an hour south from where we were previously um, at Ere near to the Erebon Cave, and I can't remember for the life of me what that other cave was called. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, yeah, I should do. Na na anyway, it was where we saw Lord Shiva and uh, lots of mixing of Buddhist and Hindu faith. Um, but, you know, statue. Lots of flies around here. I just had a a shrimp burger from 7-eleven and maybe they can smell the shrimp anyway um, we've now driven up a rather rickety old road uh, and uh, we've got to the top here and we're going to go into uh, this wonderful Tam Luang Pa uh, Tam cave Pa is actually a cliff jungle uh, area here guarding the entrance are these fantastic two serpent um, heads, statues, and you'll see the Nagar here in all their colourful glory coming down from there and splitting out and guarding the entrance to this cave. And as you go in, you can see the chairs here for people that don't want to go in or come out and they're shocked and they sit down here to recover and immediately you come in here you can get that drift of um, bats yeah 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 yeah. well wow. that's very strong oh look at this how amazing is this <laughs> again there is this uh, opening where the ground has sunk away and exposed a wonderful green area in the middle. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, isn't this lovely? Look at these beautiful stalagmites and stalactites. Well, that's one hell of a stalactite, isn't it? Look at that. It's coming all the way down from the ceiling. There are so many of these beautiful natural creations of where the, where the, you know, the, the waters come down and left its residue and built up these channels of almost like frozen running water. There's lots of moisture in here. Look at this green on the uh, shape that's there. I was just looking at the, at the shape of it. It looks like a man with a beard sitting down, doesn't it? There's a shark coming out of the ground here, look. Hang on a minute, that's not connected to the ceiling, that's a stalagmite. So that's not connected, you see that? That's not connected to the top there, so therefore it's been built up. So very, very beautiful. Look at this down here. amazing place. Now I should know more as to who Rusi is. This character here that we see uh, with the white beard 
uh, you often see associated with jungle um, temples piercing eyes you see the glistening deposits on this stalagmite here look at that So right now we've come round about five, six hundred metres into this cave and there are these gentle steps that you can walk up and down, it's not um, too difficult and there's lots of ba um, hand grips that you can hold on to to come up and we're coming up almost to the same level as we would be if we were outside. So we've gone down into a hole and then you've come back up through some large openings, large caves and high ceilings and then we've got another another large cavern going down oh wow this is fantastic I'm so happy to have found it very nice indeed wow look at that In front of the camera lens, you can probably see little white specks flying around. That, oh, there's another shape on the floor we can interpret. Is that a man and a woman? I don't know. I can't make that one out. But uh, you can see the white specks flying, flying about. And I expect the bats back there are really excited because we've disturbed bugs that then f take to the air. And as you then disturb the bugs, the bats can eat. Look at this stuff here. So once again in the, in the molten rock that formed these parts of the world, this stuff here, it really, really does look like um, rust. Hang on a minute. Is that termites? Maybe it's termites. That could be it. No, that's rock. No, 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 it's not termites. It, it looks like, you know, termites have made something from the ground and they're coming up, but that is actually rock. And you can see here there's, it's like um, rust. Wow, look at this. Absolutely amazing. and all these little children on the ground. Hmm. Nice little hideout for the snake to take his skin off. And it just keeps going. Oh, it's quite moist back here, isn't it? Wow. Mm, the humidity here is very high. Oh, is he lovely? Look at that beautiful snake. Look at the detail. Gorgeous. Mm, it's like a grey blue head. And then lovely yellow and grey all the way along to the back. Hello, beautiful one. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. There's a spider. Is he going to get that spider? He might. There's a spider around the other side of that post.
Wow. Bats, bats, bats. Well, there's been many ceremonies held here. You can see the wreckage of um, people's offerings. They've bought like, coconut water and fruits of different types, soft drinks, and now so much of it covered in guano and being taken over by wildlife. Oh, look at this. Worms. And it is, well, they're not worms, they're some sort of caterpillar type thing. Look at all of them here. I'll have to check my shoes before I get back in the car. Oh, it's moist here. The, uh, the bat poo is very thick and moist here. So let me just look up straight overhead. What have we got here? Mm. Wow. Thank you so much for pointing it out. It's fantastic. A lovely light on that. There. And once again, lots of worms. Gosh. Nice. Spiders here and there. Here's Mr. Snake again. We've travelled quite a long way, really. Yeah. at all? No. How many thousands of years have people been coming to these places? It's not just, you know, two thousands, it's, you know, it's not just this, this last few years, it's been thousands of years. People would have found the geology and thought, oh, that's interesting, and then found it spiritual, you know? They must have been doing it for years. Thanks for joining us here down in the uh, southern part of Lampun. Uh, Ban Hong is where we are right now at uh, the Tam Luang Pa. Uh, this is the cave that sits in the cliff and goes way on back there. Amazing place, it's really, really gorgeous. I love it. I'll be back here another time and have another look at a different season, maybe in the year. And Wow, beautiful. Thanks for joining us, as I say. And uh, I hope you can come here and enjoy this area as much as we have today. Fabulous. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.